Hello everyone. The outfit you're seeing on me right now is a parametric outfit asset for MetaHuman. This clothing was created by Quantum Assets and is available on Fab, and you'll also find many other assets there to help you build your own unique MetaHuman. You'll find the link in the description. So what exactly is a parametric outfit asset? It means that when you use this outfit inside MetaHuman Creator and start adjusting body parameters like height, proportions, or shape, the outfit will automatically adapt and perfectly match your MetaHuman's new body structure. Today, we're going to walk through the entire workflow of using MetaHuman outfit assets, starting from setting up your scene and creating a unique MetaHuman, all the way to solving common issues you might run into during the process. So let's get started. To make everything work correctly, you need to set up your Unreal Engine properly. First of all, make sure that the MetaHuman Creator Core Data option is enabled in your engine settings. Once you open your project, you'll need to enable the MetaHuman Creator plugin. After restarting, we can easily create our MetaHuman and start working with it. Now let's download a ready-made outfit for our character from Fab and put it on the MetaHuman. It's worth mentioning that besides MetaHuman outfit files, all our products also come with a basic set of PBR textures and an FBX mesh, so you can use them in absolutely any software. Next, let's create an outfit folder inside our project. Simply drag and drop our asset into the Outfit folder. The MetaHuman wardrobe item has now been added to your project. Let's open our MetaHuman. Adjust it however you need. For this example, I'll just pick one of the preset options. Now let's add our outfit asset to this MetaHuman. But first, we'll remove any extra clothing from the character. Our MetaHuman is dressed. You've probably noticed in the preview that all our outfits come with several color variations or skins. To change the outfit's color, just open its material and connect the texture map you want to the base color node. Now that your MetaHuman is ready, you can add a rig and generate it for further work. That's everything you need to know to start using MetaHuman Outfit Assets. In the next part of the video, I'll show you some additional tips and tricks that will make your workflow even easier. Many of our outfit assets consist of several separate and independent meshes, as shown on the screen. You can easily disable the elements you don't need for your look. For example, here I want to completely turn off all headwear. To do this, we open the clothes assets and simply disconnect the mesh nodes that we don't need at the moment. For everything to work correctly, we need to reinsert our clothes asset inside the outfit asset. Now we can simply add our wardrobe item without headwear to our MetaHuman and continue working with it. As you already know, most of our products consist of a set of separate meshes. You can also combine individual products with each other. Sometimes when combining two or more products, you may need to adjust the geometry of a certain asset so that it fits better with the main outfit. Right now, I'll show you how to move the straps of this backpack so they sit on top of the other assets. First, we need to create a static mesh version of this backpack. 
Go to the Actor tab and choose Convert to Static Mesh. Save the newly created static mesh of the backpack. Now delete the original skeletal mesh of the backpack and place the new static mesh at zero position. Next, switch to modeling mode. In the deform section, select dynamic sculpt. Here we can adjust the brush size and fall off. Before starting any sculpting, it is very important to disable the enable remeshing checkbox. After that, we can begin sculpting. Use the A and D keys to adjust the brush size. Once we're done, press Accept. After sculpting, we need to convert our static mesh back into a skeletal mesh. To do this, right-click it and select Convert to Skeletal Mesh. It is very important to select the correct skeleton, specifically Archetype Scale Mesh Skeleton. Now our new skeletal mesh is ready. Next, we need to place it into the corresponding close asset. For all the changes to take effect, it is important to reassign the close asset in the settings of the backpack's outfit asset. Now we can finally open our MetaHuman Creator and equip all the outfits we need. As we can see, the backpack is now fully adapted to our new clothing. When creating a MetaHuman, clothing is usually added through MetaHuman wardrobe items, which makes outfitting your character quick and easy. This is what the default MetaHuman clothing looks like. And here's how the body looks under the clothing. Most metahuman clothing comes with a built-in alpha mask. This mask hides the parts of the body that are covered by clothing, so you don't get any awkward clipping through the outfit. But if your clothing asset doesn't include an alpha, or if you're building a complex outfit using several pieces at once, you'll need to create your own custom alpha map to avoid the metahuman's body clipping through your clothing. To do that, we'll use MetaHuman Alpha Creator Tool by Quantum Assets. For this tutorial, I'm using clothing assets from the Quantum Assets page on Fab. These items already include alphas, but in more complex setups you may still need a custom mask. There you can also find a wide variety of outfit assets to help you create your own unique MetaHuman. So let's take a look at how to create custom alpha map. First, open the MetaHuman Alpha Builder material and create a custom alpha mask. Anything you paint white will stay visible and anything black will be hidden under the clothing. Next, open the Alpha Builder plane. Go to Assets tab and Bake Out Materials. Choose the resolution you need and click Confirm. Open the baked material, find your new alpha map, and copy it. Then press Ctrl V to paste it into your content browser. Your custom alpha is ready.
Now assign it to the wardrobe items you are using. Re-equip your outfit in MetaHuman Creator to make sure the alpha works. And that's it. Your MetaHuman is clean, optimized, and ready for further work. To compile the final character inside MetaHuman Creator, You'll first need to generate the rig and download the textures for your MetaHuman. Adding the rig may take a bit of time. But before we move on, let's see how our MetaHuman behaves with a basic test animation. We can already notice that the automatic MetaHuman rig doesn't work perfectly around the neck area. It's pulling the mesh under the arm and it stretches the pouches on the vest as if they were made of rubber. These are actually the most common issues that come from the automatic rigging inside MetaHuman Creator. Now I'm going to show you how to fix them quickly. But first, let's finalize the MetaHuman generation and click Assemble. This process may take some time. Now let's open our newly generated MetaHuman Blueprint. Next, select and open the mesh whose rig we want to adjust. As I mentioned earlier, we want to fix the neck weights so that the head doesn't pull the scarf with it. Then we want to remove the influence of the arms on the clothing located around the rib cage. And lastly, we want to make the chest pouches solid, not elastic. For this, let's switch to the Edit Weights tool. While holding Alt, select the bones responsible for the rib area, and with Shift held down, apply the Relax brush to smooth out the weight distribution on that part of the mesh. Press Accept to apply the changes. Now let's move on to the neck. Switch to the Mesh tab and select all polygons that belong to the neck, as well as part of the shoulders for a smoother transition. We need to reduce the influence of the head and neck bones on these polygons to zero, and then remove these bones from the hierarchy. Press Accept and check the result. As we can see, the scarf no longer reacts to head rotation, and now rests only on the shoulders. Now let's make our magazines and pouches completely solid and hard. Here we need to be very careful with the selection so we don't select anything extra. I'm selecting small fragments of the mesh and using the flood tool to fill the entire mesh surface connected to that fragment. Use Shift and Control to add or remove polygons from your selection. Once the entire area we need is selected, we can assign 100% weight to the Spine 04 bone. Press Accept. Now the pouches on the chest are no longer elastic and stay strongly in place. This completes the rig adjustments for this asset. I use the same technique to remove hand influence from the backpack straps. I deleted all arm-related weights from the selected area.
and then I smooth the transition with the relax brush to make the effect more natural. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I have shown you the most common issues you may encounter when creating outfits inside MetaHuman Creator and how to fix them. Now you can use your MetaHuman in any of your projects. Good luck.